Hi guys, I'm Tanya and welcome back to my channel, The Donkey Business. Today, I'm here to talk about some super incredible shows that I watched very recently. I binge watched them throughout the last week of December and I'm here to talk about those shows. I think they are really well made, very unique and I hope you will like them as much as I did. So this is my list of binge watch worthy shows for you. The first show that I want to talk about is called Loss is Spookies and this is definitely one of the most absurd shows that I have ever watched. It's a Spanish comedy show about a group of people who make scary scenarios to scare people for a living. Firstly, this plot is so absurd and unique. I've never seen anything like that. Secondly, these characters are hilarious and very well written. It is super absurd, very fresh, very unique. Two seasons are out and I loved watching the show and I highly recommend it. The second show that I highly recommend is called Wednesday, which is available on Netflix and is making a lot of buzz around the world. I watched it very recently and highly recommend it. It's different, it's fresh and has a lot of things to grasp. It is a supernatural comedy show and has a lot of unique things. It is very unique, very well made and honestly I don't enjoy such shows that much personally. I'm not a very big fan of supernatural content in general but this is a very different one. However, I wasn't a fan of the last two episodes. I think it was rushed and it just did not make too much sense to me the way they ended it. But because there are more seasons coming up, I am excited to watch it and I highly recommend Wednesday available on Netflix. The next show that I want to recommend is called It's a Sin, which is about a group of very cute homosexual guys who obviously have sex with each other and get contracted with AIDS. And the show is based on a time when AIDS was not very out there and people didn't know how it was happening and what to do when everyone was just dying of AIDS. So they obviously um, blame the gay community for it and the show is based on that. It's just six episodes, there's no season two, it's crisp editing, very good storytelling, amazing, um, you know, the way they've made the show and inspired from events which are not true but still make a lot of sense, it's really good and the acting is insane and I highly recommend It's a Sin. The next show that I watched very recently is called White Lotus and oh my god, I loved this show. There are two seasons out right now and the concept of the show is just mind-blowing. It's about this group of random people who check into this luxury hotel and have a lot of money but their personal lives are very twisted and dark and how they comprehend each other's lives without realizing that they are making a difference. Personally for me, season 1 was better than season 2. However, I feel that both the seasons are very strong. The characters are very nice. But season 1 for me outstood because I loved the direction of season 1 more because there was more interlink interlinking characteristics between the characters in the hotel which was making more sense. However, I thought that season 2 was just like a series of like individual stories of every character in groups. But it is a mind-blowing show and I highly recommend The White Lotus. It is so good. So good. The next show that I highly recommend is called Somebody Somewhere which is available on Disney and has 100% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. And I am not surprised with these ratings because the Duplass brothers are attached to the show. Most of the series, most of the episodes of this show are directed by Jerry Duplass and they have creatively produced the show and distributed it as well and the show is just so pure and nice and very raw and generally it's basically about a dysfunctional family and whenever we watch stuff just about a dysfunctional family it's mostly like the rich so we always feel that the rich have like a very dark life and you know money is not everything but this show is a dysfunctional family of a family which is very middle class very normal very normal american family it's so good very well made the characters are so raw you wouldn't see them anywhere else but you relate to them so much it is a great show um it is not one of the best shows ever but it is a show that everyone can relate to and i highly recommend it it's called somebody somewhere available on disney also if you're looking for like a time pass binge watch show where you're working and watching something this is not the show for you because it's a very mature show that I only recommend to people who understand films. The last show that I want to recommend is called Minx which is also a very cool show available on Amazon Prime but you need Lionsgate to watch and get access to this show and is very cool about this woman who is working with this adult company and is making a magazine like an erotic magazine for women where they're objectifying men. 
and seeing how women feel when we use the spawn. But why can't women have a magazine to fall back to when they want some sexy men in a magazine? So the, the show is very funny, it is very real, very cool. I loved it and I highly recommend it. It's called Minx, available on Amazon Lionsgate. So these are some shows that I watched very recently. You can binge watch them. They're mostly limited series. You can watch them in like three, four days and finish everything in two weeks. And then I will recommend a new bunch of episodes. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And let me know your favorite show in the comments below.